Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I just popped out earlier and went into Savers, TK Maxx, Marks and Spencer and also Home Bargains. So I just thought I'd show you the bits I did pick up because I haven't got enough from each shop to do like a separate video on them. So I'll just start off with Savers first because it's only one item. I went into every shop today. So I went to Super Drug and I went into Boots. And I was asking in there if they had like a ginger hair dye because I'm going to see Spice Girls on Thursday and I'm going to be ginger spice for the night. So, and I couldn't literally find it anywhere. They all was just permanent and obviously I don't want a permanent hair dye. And I'm not slagging off the workers in super drugs, so let me just get out there first. But I think if you work in like a drugstore like that with all like the beauty products, you should know the questions I was asking. I was like, oh, so what one would you recommend? And she was just like, I don't know. Every question I asked, she was just like, I don't know, I don't know. Weren't really helpful to me at all. Anyway, I'll move on for that. They didn't have what I needed in there, neither did boots. And so I was, rang my mum, I was like, mum, what am I gonna do? She's like, do you know where you should pop into? Honestly, I go on stories all the time. Look in savers. I don't normally go in savers, so went in there, looked down the hair dye aisle, and they actually had some. They had three different ones in there, but the one that looked the best for me was the Pixie Lot paint one. And it was the wash up hair colour, a rich colour you can fade to your perfect shade. So I couldn't actually find like a natural like ginger ginger one. But I think they they are called like redheads and stuff. So I got that one. And it's really easy. It you can wash out within two to ten washes. So yeah, I got this one. And if you have any though like skin allergies or anything get your skin test and everything. So yeah, got that one. And you even get in there the sachets for you to fade it out. So you've got two of them in there as well. And the really good thing was, it said £2.99 in front of it. When I went to the till, it went for at £1.99. Absolute bargain. I love when that happens in shops. Like it goes through cheaper than what it should be. So yeah, that's the only thing that I picked up from Savers. So yeah, I just popped in to TK Maxx, the one over in Gapton Hall. And my mum has been looking for these absolutely everywhere for the Jordan Skinny Syrups. And you know, they're 0% calories, 0% sugar, and you can add them to like coffee, desserts and everything. And so I picked up the Whipped Foam Topping in French Vanilla. That looks so, so good as well. And it's the pump one. And also got the ice cream collection, this one is, the birthday cake flavoured whip foam topping. They're 475 mils each, so that one as well. Honestly, I've had some of the birthday cake one. I, it was really, really random. I added it to a coffee, but it was so good. It added like an extra sort of sweet taste to it. It was really, really nice as well. So yeah, them two, and they were £4.99 in TK Maxx. The next shop I popped into is <clears throat> Marks and Spencer. So, first thing, if you watch my videos and you see my m and ones, you can probably guess in every single video I've bought these. The iced coffee lattes. They only had two left on their shelf this time. They really, really, really sell so, so quick. But they're £1.40 per bottle, so that's really, really cheap, I think. And it's a refreshing milky ice latte made of British milk and fair trade coffee beans. So them, they are really, really amazing though. Honestly, you really need to try these so, so much. Like my mum loves these. Like she has a cup like every single morning. Then just picked up some coleslaw, <clears throat> the reduced fat one. So yeah, it has already been opened cause mum, you know, had a little bit in her sandwich she had. And I think that's like a pound in there, which is quite decent, I think, for a coleslaw. And also, down there on the cheese aisle, they have miniature cheeses. So I did pick six of them up, but only five are still standing because Mama got herself into one of the little French breeze already. 
But yeah, the ones I have left is another Brie. A blue Stilton. And also some Cornish Cove Cheddar with Balsamatic Onion. Oh, I didn't actually buy more. I only bought four and there's three left side, and I mean, yeah. But the Balsamic Onion sounds so good. So yeah, they were like 50 to 70p each in there. So yeah, that's really good if you don't want like a whole like lump of cheese to have to cut and everything. And just have one of these little bad boys. And you could take them to work. Anywhere with you, perfect. Also, these cappuccino bars. They look so, so good. I picked up three of these. They also have at the tills the coffee kit bars. But I've never actually had the cappuccino bar, so just them ones and picked up three. And I am addicted to coffee. Honestly, I love coffee so much. And whatever has coffee in it, this boy has to try. So yeah, I think they were like 80p each in there as well. But then also got some submarine rolls, soft white ones. You get four in the pack. But mum has opened these as well and had one for her lunch i think they were like one pound fifty in there and they kind of remind me of like the subway rolls you know like, and you can put your own fillings in there and everything as well also pick pick this up for mum in the morning for her breakfast she can have it just one of the croissants the plain ones and they were 90p each now on the fresh bakery section you probably would be aware now if you do watch my videos that i have turned vegetarian i do not eat obviously vegetarian don't eat meat or fish but i still eat like eggs and cheese i don't drink dairy milk anyway i always have outpro but yeah so and they have got some amazing vegetarian bits in there as well and these are vegan friendly as well the plant kitchen range in there and these are cauliflower popcorn, crispy coated cauliflower mini florets with a spicy buffalo dip. Then they look so good. Look how amazing they look out of the packaging. Oh my god, they look so peng. And I'm having these for dinner tonight, me and mummy's as well. Because she's pretty much vegetarian. She don't eat meat or fish really either. So that and to go with it, got some of the Plant Kitchen Sweet Potato Falafels with a cashew nut and cannellini dip. Them bad boys, they look so good as well. I think they were like £2.50 each. So vegan and vegetarian food can be more expensive. And they also have some really, really good other Plant Kitchen products. You should pop into M&S and check it out. Yeah. If you did watch one of my previous M&S videos, I'll link that in below so you can just check it out if you want to. You would have seen that I picked up some of the long tin of biscuits. And so I think I picked up some you know, normal milk chocolate ones and some mint and some orange. And I went in there today because they're just so, so nice to give us presents and everything. So they only had one left on their shelf. And it was the orange cream one. So them bad boys. And you know what? The tin is just really, really nice to keep as well. So like I'm meeting um, like a friend in a, like soon. I think either next week or the week after. She, like, she's an older lady and everything. But um, she was one of my sixth form teachers. And we just kept in contact. So I've bought her one of these to take along with me. Just got two more bits which I picked up from M&S. This is an antibacterial kitchen cleaner. Kills 99.9% .9 bacteria, safe to use where food is prepared. And it's an apricot and orange one. The amazing thing about this one is cruelty free, which is so amazing. And it's so good for pound and it's suitable for vegans. So yeah, that one, so cheap for a pound, honestly. And finally, guys, this is the best I think like loaf that MS do. I am addicted to bananas. I, l I can't function without my banana in the morning. I can't. And I love going to like Starbucks and get my little coffee and well, 
and my little piece of banana cake. That's only when I'm having like a little treat day. I don't always do it all the time. And in m and they have a banana loaf. It is so good, honestly. That was £2 in there. But oh my God, my mouth is watering over it now. When I'm going to have, you know, fancy a little bit of nice piece of it. You know, when I'm feeling, Josh, you've done really, really well this week. Enjoy yourself. I'm going to have a piece. And that was, and I think I might have said it already, £2 in there. So that was everything that was picked up in m and Spent about £22 in there. So shall I move on to the home bargains bits? I think I should. Huge bag full of stuff. First thing that I picked up was some Nescaf Dolce Gusto Caf All Late coffees. And you get 16 pods in there as well. The thing I love about the 16 pods is on some of them, so like the cappuccino, you technically only get eight because you have to use two per drink. But with this one, you only have to use one per drink. And there was £3.99 there as well. I couldn't live without my Dolce Gusto machine though. I love it. It just makes life so much easier to make a coffee. And they had some really, really nice ones like Choco Chino in there, Americano, Espresso. So yeah, do check your home bargains out if you wanted to get yourself some of these bad boys. Down the like food aisle. These are really, really good for these price. Some Uncle Ben's golden vegetable rice. And you get three packs in there. And they were £2 in there, which is so cheap. I mean, if you buy them individually, they can be like one to two pound on their own so amazing price pick these up for when the boys come down and visit some of the squeezy orange soft drinks made with spring water and i got the orange ones i think there was 79 or 99p in there these are also for when the boys come down and visit some of the hello panda fun filled biscuit treats they were so cheap, 25p each, that's so cheap. And it also had some strawberry flavour and a coconut flavour in there as well. And I picked these up for my mum because she wanted some cat treats to send off to someone. I'm not going to say who it's for because they probably watched this video. So we've got some of the Wee Box Cat Delight Tasty Sticks with Salmon and Trout. And they're not just for like older cats, you can buy these for kittens as well. And they're made with 95% meat. So then. Picked up some of the Wickford & Co. Car air fresheners. And you get three in there. Cherry blossom and jasmine. A cotton breeze. And a pink rhubarb and pear. And I think they're like 79 99 for them. Which is really, really cheap. The For me, the cherry blossom and jasmine is the best smell on these. And also got some of the Choco Dippers. These are for the, when the boys come down and visit as well. These were so cheap. You get 10 packs for a pound. So that like 10 of the little individual ones. A pound. That is so, so cheap for these as well. I used to love these as a kid. And they, they were the ones in like the little blue dishes. I can't remember what they were like the brand or anything they were called only thing is I, you didn't really get much chocolate in them it was just all the biscuit also got a protein bar so when i come out to the gym or even as a meal replacement so i always have sometimes one of the breakfast the stacked bar cookies and cream and that was one pound 29 in there picked up some black pepper grinder and a sea salt grinder so them, they were, I think, 59p in there. Not really much I can say about pepper and salt, really, so guys. Another protein and meal replacement bar. The Pro First range. I've never actually had this flavour. It's the chocolate mint flavour. And I, as I said in my Tesco haul, I love mint. I'm addicted to mint. And they were 69p. If you buy these from Tesco, they're £2.50. Then picked up four of the Kenko Ice Brew Refreshing Coffee Classics. Then, as I did say, I'm addicted to coffee. So I picked up two for me, two for mother. And they were two for a pound in there. I wish I picked more up now because they're going to sell out. And 
Can you imagine how good they're going to taste when they're cold as well? It's going to be so good. Two for a pound. How cheap. So cheap. And there's only four ingredients in it. And it's real Kenko coffee. So, yeah. Went down, like, the book and stationery aisle in the Great Yarmouth Home Bargains. And picked up two of the Toy Story 4 sticker play activity books and you get over 60 awesome stickers and they have like all different games in there they can play so I picked these up for when my nephews come down to keep them entertained for a while and they were 79p each i remember my mum said that she wanted me to pick one of these up because she couldn't see them in there when she went in there last time so some of the chubba chaps and it's a candy tea party you get 40 soft candy tea delicates and you get the party stand as well. How amazing is that to get out for a birthday? Honestly. And you get the little stand with it as well. That is so cute, honestly. And they had a pink one in there as well. I think there was, this was £2.99 if I'm right. Got a couple more items. So I picked up this rose gold initial little stand. Is it stand or, you know, a little, I don't know what you call, I don't know what you call that really, I'm not going to lie, so I do. And obviously I wanted a J for Josh, but I wanted JF for like my surname, but they only had one J, they didn't have any F left, so it's just J left on his own. And I'm going to put this behind me for like, you know, for my background on some of my videos. That was £1.99 in there. Two more items left. So I got some of the festival hair glitter, but I didn't actually want it for my hair. I want it just to like decorate on my like arms and everything. So I got the gold one and that was 79p. Finally guys, I had to get one of these. I wish I got two. Now I've seen them. The Dum Dum Vitamin Water plus Biotin B6, Niacin and B12. And it's a mixed berry one. So that so so good but do you know the thing i love about it why didn't i pick up two it's like doing two weights then isn't it that is so sick love it build my little muscles up and for 99p really really cheap so next time i go gym i should be taking this bad boy with me so yeah guys i spent about 23 pound in home bargains so i think i did get quite a lot for my money as well and that has come to the end of this video I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm just wearing my Adidas cap and my striped t-shirt from Mango. And also I'll link all my social media in below. So my Instagram, Joshua Fry Love. If you know you just want to see what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis and everything. I'll see you really, really soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!